Hello and good morning. We are just outside the Marina Haven Hotel where we are about to see the start of the 2019 CADICOM 10K. We have a number of official runners from various member countries and we are going to have the start any moment now. This will give you a quick idea of some of the athletes who are entered from the, the various countries from Antigua Barbuda, there's Stephanie Hughes and also Calic Saint Jean from Barbados, Carly Pipe, Micah Stewart from Dominica, Maya Coffey and Jonathan Celestin, Kenisha Pascal and Tyron Jacob out of Grenada, and uh, from Jamaica, Anisha Lawrence, the only competitor, and she's been accompanied by the coach, Dean Tomlin. There's Linda McDowell out of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and Jermaine and Junior Ashton, Isida Tomer out of Suriname, and Janik Pomba and Justin Hodge, he's a representative from Anguilla and St. Lucia's two official entries, Neville Dupre and Blossom Gonzac. So any moment now, we'll be getting the start of the CARICOM 10K 2019. So any moment now, they're gonna get on the way. Victor Ledger in the bright orange top and the blue shorts and the striking green Shoes off with the starters and they're off the 2019 CARICOM 10K.
We are just having the first runner to complete the runner from St. Vincent and the Grenadines and the winner of the 2019 CARICOM 10K and Junior Ashton, the man crossing the finish line and certainly would have had to put a lot of emphasis in the final two kilometers of this event. We're going to have a tussle for second and third positions. So it's the competition well and truly on this competitive finish for second and third place. Let's go crazy! Bring and it on, runner finish, finish. from Antiguan Barbula coming in in second position, Calique Saint Jean, followed by number eight four six, and uh, that is Justin Hodge out of Anguilla. So we've had the first three competitors coming in in the official entry and the unofficial one of the unofficial runners from St. Lucia who did the early running just coming in now really good showing by him today number 845 is completing his run Janik Pomba out of Suriname well, here we have the sixth runner coming in now, the official St. Lucian runner in Neville Dupre, finishing in sixth position, 2019 CARICOM 10K. So now we have the seventh runner, the official listing, the CARICOM 10K 2019, just about to cross the finish line, and he's out of Grenada. Tyron Jacob, number 839. So Tyron Jacob completing his run, representing the Spice Isle of Grenada. Just greeting the CARICOM ambassador. It's competition for eighth place, eighth and nine. Yes, we have the sprint down to the finish here at the Saab playing field. An official runner of St. Lucia finishing the event and also a lady coming in 842 the Jamaican Anicia Lawrence so now we actually have the 
Grenadian runner coming in the second lady, Kenesha Pascal. And followed by the Barbadian, Carly Pipe. Again, third last year and third this year. And uh, one of the official runners out of Barbados. Yes, coming in. Micah Stewart completing the young Barbadian runner. So we have the fourth female to finish out of Suriname. Just coming up to the finish line is Celia Tomer out of Suriname, number 844. Coming in, just uh, crossing the line. We have, seems like another local runner uh, coming in. Not really powering exactly into it, but still, nonetheless, looking to make the distance. Successful in his run. We have Jason Sears, one of the local runners, taking a run in today's Caricom 10K. Yes. Jason Sears is crossing the finish line. So we have uh, another finisher coming in out of Dominica and that is Jonathan Celestin out of Dominica just finishing the CARICOM 10K. So yet another female runner coming in, it's St. Lucia official entry. And that's Blossom Gonzaga of St. Lucia, St. Lucia's official entry. Among the ladies, just completing her distance in the CARICOM 10K 2019. Uh, we have one of the female runners coming in, accompanied by some cyclists. And it's actual the Dominican official entry. Nera Cuffey, completing the run. Perseverance, actually finishing a distance. So we have the two runners that were expected to bring this event to an end to St. Lucian runners, unofficial, but still bringing the CARICOM 10K 2092 a close, just crossing the finish line now. We're going to have another runner who probably just didn't really want to compete just getting it straight out of CARICOM so we've now had the supporting services the emergency vehicle and the convoy that assisted the runners in making it safely to the finish line and that's where we have the completion of our look at the finishers in the CARICOM 10k 2019 Finished just outside the sapling field adjacent to the runway of the George F. L. Charles Airport. Let me say uh, congratulations to each and every one of you for taking part in, in this race. You are all winners. All, each and every one of you. You embody, to participate in such an event, you embody discipline and you embody for us a healthy lifestyle that we need to em emulate, we need to copy that. And you also are, I want to suggest to you, ambassadors for a healthy lifestyle. The issue of non-communicable diseases is plaguing our community. The statistics that I, I've heard, um, is something that we cannot ignore. Um, in some of our countries, as much as 5% of the national income, that is, that is determined to be the cost of NCDs. And it affects the individual, it affects the family to which the individual belongs, and it affects the entire community. 
So I want to applaud you all for having participated in this event. It's our annual event. There are nine countries, I believe, who participated. Uh, I think we'll be announcing the, the names of the countries, but we want to welcome especially those who have come here, and of course, the Delush Lucian Posse as well for participating. And I have to recognize the youngest, the youngest runner, 12 year old, Arnold Marshall, who, who, who made it. Arnold, go high. He made the 10K, he, he, did, a, he did the 10K. That's our youngest, youngest runner. So I just was recognizing, you can have a seat. But I want to congratulate the persons who came out first in the male 10K, uh, Mr. Junior Ashton from St. Vincent and Grenadines. And St. Vincent and Grenadines has swept Linda McDowell, the first, first came out first in the female race. And we want to congratulate you both for coming out first. Of course, the other, the other persons who in the 10K, Kalik Saint-Jean of Antigua and Barbuda, came out second in the male 10K. Justin Hodge, third in the male 10K from Anguilla. And Kanisha Pascal came out second from Grenada in the female. Kali Pike came out third from Barbados in female. And our 5K, Tariq Zave of St. Lucia, of course, Newport. Yes, because secondary, I think it is. Yeah. And Michael Popot also came out, um, came out second in the male category. And in the female category, we had Zadie St. Louis, also from Newport. I believe the same school. And Laurelyn Langley came out second. So as I've said, you're all winners. We, we really um, thank you for participating in this event. And it's an annual event. Uh, I see some faces who I recognize from having run in, in earlier races. I'm looking forward, put it on your calendar for next uh, July 4th, in, or, or on around July 4th, in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. St. Vincent will be the host of the next 10K race. And we look forward to seeing all of you and more to participate in this event. So once again, I want to thank you. I also must recognize the many people who made this possible. Of course, I have to start with our Ministry of Sport, our Director of Sport, uh, the Government of St. Lucia, and all the personnel, um, ambulance and, and the, um, the police and everybody who made this uh, a success. Thank you very much, guys. And we have to recognize our private sector, sector sponsors, Natural Lotteries Authorities of St. Lucia, the Bank of St. Lucia, and Blue Waters. And I'd like to say to them, thank you very much for making, being part of this and for making this event happen. And, um, well, thank you. Let's get on to the trophies. I'm sure yeah. our colleagues want to receive their trophies so they can run, maybe relax a bit. Thank you very much. The CARICOM Chairman's Trophy, first place male in the 10K. You know yourself already, just stand. From St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Mr. Junior Aston. A round of applause. And our first place female, also from the island of St. Vincent, Miss Linda McDowell. St. Vincent is doing it big. Congratulations again, St. Vincent. Come in, so the, two of, the three of you could have a photo shot.
And to present our second place trophies, I would like to call on ASG, Mr. Ambassador Douglas Slater. All right, in second place, male 10K, we have Mr. Calix Senja from Antigua and Barbuda. Well done, Kalik. And our second place female in the 10K from the island of Grenada, Miss Kenesha Pascal. Thank you, Ambassador Douglas. I would like to call Ambassador Elmer Jean Isaac to give our third place trophies. We got you by surprise. In third place in our 10K males, we have Mr. Justin Hodge from Anguilla. And in third place for our 10K females from Barbados, Miss Kali Pipe. And now our two athletes will take a picture with Ambassador Isaac. Thank you very much athletes and thank you very much to our three ambassadors. We now move on to our 5K race with students from the island and I'm very happy and proud to be the one announcing these. In our 5K male first place, I would like to call on Mr. Patrick Mathren to present this award to Tariq Xavier from the Beaufort Comprehensive Secondary School. And also from the Vifort Comprehensive Secondary School, our first place female, Miss Zadie St. Louis. Tarek, 
can you Mr. Matra will be holding on with us to also distribute our second place prize. And our second place meal for the 5K from the Grosile Secondary School of St. Lucia, Mr. Michael Popot. Popote, I'm sorry. And our second place female from the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College here in St. Lucia, Miss Laurelyn Lemery. I said that right, right? Yes. Thank you very much, Mr. Matre, and congratulations once again to our athletes. Of course, I'm impartial to St. Lucia, but that's okay. I would like to call on Mr. Patrick Matre, the Director of Sports, to close us with a few words. Thank you very much, Mistress of Ceremonies. Protocol have been established. Um, let me say good morning to all. And let me say how wonderful it was this morning um, to see the CARICOM 10K. We know that every year you look forward to the CARICOM 10K. We know sometimes it's a bit challenging, and um, especially in this type of weather in the Caribbean, it's always very challenging to have your, your the 10K run so early in the morning. Um, you expect that the sun will not rise, but I think God always has the last say as to when the sun rises and when it sets. Um, but I do hope that you enjoyed the route. It was not too very hilly, and that you, you would have had a very good experience here in St. Lucia. I want to, of course, on behalf of the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports and the Government of St. Lucia, say thank you to CARICOM for allowing us to host this CARICOM 10K. We feel part of the CARICOM family. We know we are part of it. But having, having done activities in St. Lucia, such as the 10K and very soon the heads of government, we know we are uh, um, uh, very in, in terms of our ability to host, first of all, and to be part of the family. Um, if one or two say that, who is the capital, then Senator shall proudly say we're the capital of CARICOM. But then again, that's left to the heads to decide. So once again, thank you so very much for being here. Um, please enjoy the hospitality. I know most of you go back tomorrow. So take a good rest and maybe enjoy some of St. Lucia. Thank you once again to one and all. Thank you, Mr. Matre. And before we go, we have to acknowledge our youngest competitor. And I would like to call on Ambassador Laroque to present Mr. Arnold Marcel with a small medal. Congratulations, Arnold. And hopefully next year, you and more of your friends will participate.